Hey you, welcome to Sacrilegious Discourse. I'm husband. I'm wife. And together we're reading the Bible. Starting with Genesis and eventually ending with Revelations, we're working through every book and offering our atheist two cents. Or shekels. Yeah, those. We're asking questions and pointing out all the nonsense. We aren't academics or scholars. Nope. In fact, when it comes to religion, we really don't know anything at all. What we've learned so far is that God's a dick. Oh, he really is, isn't he? If you're interested in how we reached this startling conclusion, maybe start from episode one. Otherwise, jump in anywhere. It's all good. Yep. Hey, wife, we just got a new sponsor. It's Anchor. They must think we're doing something right because they picked us back up. That's amazing. Want to hear something even more amazing? Uh, yeah. I actually know what they are. You are full of shit. I'm calling your bluff. Tell me about Anchor. Okay, so Anchor by Spotify is the easiest way to make a podcast with everything you need all in one place. I'm actually surprised you knew that. But did you also know that Anchor has tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer? Yes, because I see you do that on your phone all the time and it looks pretty simple. It really is. And when hosting on Anchor, you can distribute your podcast on listening platforms like Spotify and Apple Podcasts. But I use CastBox. Yeah, darling. I know you like CastBox. It gets distributed there too and lots of other platforms as well. And how much are we paying for this awesome service? Absolutely nothing. Coolio. So then we should tell people to download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started? Yep. Do it now. Husband. Wife. Do you remember what happened yesterday? I remember it was a really short chapter, Mm -hmm. but that's about all I remember. It was about baskets and tithing. Oh, that's right. That's right. Baskets and tithings. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Okay. Do you do you tithe? I do not tithe. I do not tithe either. I I, I ain't got the money for that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> if yeah. you were gonna um, tithe, who would you tithe to? Uh, my first choice would be, um, well, either a good cause for like a saving this person or that person, but really, probably NPR. That's what I was thinking. Like. NPR and like the Diabetes Association. Yeah, yeah. I also really like the Make a Wish Foundation. Sure. So, yeah. Yeah. There's. What... I could find endless things to donate to that I sure. that I think are good causes. So. Absolutely. But... Planned Parenthood would be a good one. Right. Yeah. Yep. Particularly if they're in Texas. Yeah. We just need more money, then we'll give everybody all kinds of money. I will tithe. I'll tithe. Yeah. But not in the biblical sense. Not today. <laughs> All right, that was Deuteronomy 26, and now we are moving on to Deuteronomy chapter 27. (laughs) (laughs) You caught me. Okay, Deuteronomy 27. (laughs) Don't ever do that again. (laughs) <laughs> we said you were tired, so I was trying to entertain you. Oh, no. You don't need to entertain me. You need, wakey, to, keep, wakey. You need to keep our um, listeners listening. They, That's they the more love me. Thing. They love me. <laughs> okay, new section. The law to be recorded on Mount Ebal or Ebal okay. or Abal. Sure, one of those. I'm going to call it Ebal. Okay, you do that. Okay. Then Moses and the leaders of Israel gave this charge to the people. Okay. Okay, ready? I'm ready. Obey all these commands that I am giving you today. And that kind of goes without saying. It's like every time he talks, right? When you cross the Jordan River and enter into the land the Lord your God has given you, set up some large stones and coat them with plaster. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. I do that all the time. Right? Yeah. Write this whole body of instruction on them when you cross the river to enter the land the Lord your God is giving you, a land flowing with milk and honey, just as the Lord, the God of your ancestors, promised you. Oy, oy, oy. When you cross the Jordan, set up these stones at Mount Ebal. With plaster. And coat them with plaster. Yep. As I am commanding you today. And write on them. Okay, so there's going to be stones. And they're going to write on them. And they're going to put plaster on it. And then they're going to write on the plaster. Got it. Got it? I got it. Because God told them to. God told them to do a paper mache rock. And and he told them to. And also he told them to. Yeah. Okay? Yep. Because the land and then the land 
in the land. But really, God didn't. Moses told them that God told them. Because Moser is a grifty fuck. Who? Moser? Moses. Moses. Oh, okay. I, I said Moses. Said, I'm pretty sure you said Moster. Moster? Yeah. I thought I said Moses. Whatever. I meant Moses. He's okay. a grifty fuck. Yeah, sure. Then build an altar there to the Lord your God using natural uncut stones. Okay. Uncut stones. Yep. All right. You must not shape the stones with an iron tool. Oh, so this is going to be like that rock stacking stuff, the yeah. Zen stuff yeah. that people do. There you go. Build the altar of uncut stones and use it to <laughs> offer burnt offerings to the Lord your God. I built the altar of uncut stones. There's a movie called Uncut Gems. Yeah. But I don't think I've seen it. Mm. I don't know what it's about. I definitely haven't seen it. No, I know. Yeah. It, I wanted to see it because it had a good cast. I just never got around to it. Got it. Okay, sorry. Okay. I was trying to... This is boring, so... It is, actually. interjecting Plaster some. stones, uncut stones, <laughs> written on plastered stones. Uh, you're stoned, I'm stoned, <laughs> stone the harlot, what? I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Also, sacrifice peace offerings on it and celebrate by feasting there before the Lord your God. You must clearly, clearly Mm -hmm. write all these instructions on the stones coated with plaster. Okay. My God. He really thought that those people were dumb because he was like, write a plus sign. Write (laughs) a plus sign on the rock. On the rock, write a plus sign. I don't feel like uh, something written on plaster on a rock is going to last really long. Uh, Probably not. That's just my feeling. Like when it's out in the weather and, you know, things happen and... I just feel like that that disappeared it's pretty like quickly. It's like sidewalk chalk. Yeah, right? <laughs> then Moses and the Levitical priests addressed all Israel as follows. Oh, Israel, be quiet and listen. Quiet. <laughs> quiet, you. <laughs> yeah. Today you have become the people of the Lord your God. But so yesterday you weren't. Yesterday you weren't. Today you are. Yeah. So you must obey the Lord your God by keeping all these commands and decrees that I am giving you today. And write them in plaster. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's like, oh, they make me so tired. I'm like, Moses, can you move on? <laughs> Enough with the fucking laws and the decrees and the fucking rules and the, the offerings and the whatever. Ugh, it's so tiresome. Okay, next section. The curses at Mount Ebal. These are those mountains that they were talking about, right? No, it's Maybe? the same mountain. Oh, okay. The Unless they made a mistake, because he's like, at Mount Ebal, right. um, build, stack the stones, uncut, blah, blah, blah. No, what I'm and asking, then, is this one of those mountains that they were on? Like Maybe. Okay. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. Okay. But, okay. The curses at Mount Ebal. That same day... Moses also gave this charge to the people. That was a long-ass day. Yeah. When you cross the Jordan River, the tribes of Simon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Joseph, and Benjamin must stand on Mount Gerizim. Oh, yeah. To proclaim a blessing over the people. There you go. You were right. I was was wrong. Okay. And the tribes of Reuben, Gad, Asher, Zebulon, Dan, and Naphtali... Must stand on Mount Ebal to proclaim a curse. I knew Dan was in the, the bad crowd. Yeah, yeah. He's Dan, son of none. Those, yeah. Um, son of none. Dan. No, you're right. Who is he? He's nobody. Dan is the one He's that just we just Dan. made fun of for the longest time. Because his name is Dan. Yeah. Yeah. The tribe of Dan. The tribe of Dan. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, sorry. God, you don't have to look at me like that. Yeah. <laughs> I can't be expected to read well and remember everything. Oh, okay, sorry. Remembering is your gig. I'm. Uh, we're, we're all <laughs> we're all gonna lose then. <laughs> we we're all gonna lose. Okay, then the Levites will shout to all the people of Israel. Okay, ready? I'm ready. Here's the curses. Okay, we're doing the curses now. Curses, got it. Cursed is anyone who carves or casts an idol and secretly sets it up. These idols, the worst. The works of craftsmen are detestable to the Lord. And all the people will, will reply, amen. Yeah. Blah, 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 amen. Okay. Okay? Don't make idols. Don't Got make it. idols. For the umpteenth time. Right. Cursed is anyone who dishonors father or mother. And all the people will reply, amen. Okay. Right. This sounds like the ten fucking commandments. Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah. Okay. Just some of them they're saying is curses and some 
than yeah, not, yeah, I yeah. guess, whatever. So obey your parents even if they are fuck faces. Right. Got it. Yeah. Cursed is anyone who steals property from a neighbor by moving a boundary marker. That <laughs> bitch. And all the people will reply, amen. Yeah, don't move that fucking boundary marker, guys. Okay. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. Cursed is anyone who leads a blind person astray on the road. That's fair. Oh, come on, that's just good fun. No! What? <laughs> no. I'm joking. You apologize. I apologize. Right now. Yeah, I apologize. That it was not okay. Obviously, that's not just good fun. Okay, I know, but, like, they can't see but us. This, it seems like a ridiculous thing to just call out from a mountain. Don't lead the blind guy astray. That's Right. That's a curse. And all the people will reply, amen. See, I was going to say fair, fair, fair. That is cursed. Yeah, no. Cursed be, you bastard. I agree. That is fair. Yeah. But it just seems an odd thing to yell from a mountain. Like, how many times did that happen? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> that they had to spell it out. Yeah, if it's one of the big things you're covering, you know. Right? Okay. Plus, plus are these are the things they're writing on the rocks, too? Yeah. Okay. Cursed is anyone who denies justice to foreigners, orphans, or widows, and all the people will reply, amen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't be a dick. Got right. it. Cursed is anyone who has sexual intercourse with one of his father's wives, for he has <laughs> violated his father. I have no problem with that. But honestly, if they're consenting adults... It's none of my beeswax. Right. Yeah, sure. And all the people will reply, amen. Right. I mean, they're not talking about, like, a son fucking his mom. They're talking about a son fucking one of his father's wives, not his mom. Right. No, I, and, I got it. you know, I'm not here. Like, I think it would be gross, but I'm not here to tell somebody else, don't fuck your stepmom. Like, if that, no. if they're consenting adults, it's none of my fucking business. Sure. As gross as I might think it is. Right. Like. You're gross. Yeah. But well, you have you know, the right to be gross is the thing. You got to think. There's there's these young guys coming of age, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then their dads taking multiple wives All probably. All the hot wives. And the wives don't really have a choice in the matter. Right. So, like, maybe they reach out to, you know, whoever's closest because, right. you know, they don't particularly like the guy that, you know, they had to hook up with. So. Right, right. Just saying. Just saying. I mean, I think the women are blameless here. I think, Yeah. I, I, I don't see that I, they no, had a I, lot of I, options. I don't disagree, but I mean, like, at the same time, yeah, I mean, the, if a guy, right, there was no <laughs> options. I mean, here's so the just, thing. Either they're a consenting adult or they were being raped. Right. You know? Yeah. So are you going to tell the woman not to consent to sex with anybody she pleases who also consents? I mean, I don't. That's not my place. Are you going to tell that woman? Like, no. See? I'm not either. Right, but God will. He don't matter. Whatever. Well, I know he doesn't matter, but, you know, God specifically is saying don't do that. Right, but whatever. So God will. I know. Okay. Cursed be. Okay. (laughs) Cursed is anyone who has sexual intercourse with an animal. (laughs) Absolutely. I'm down with that one. And all the people, especially at this table, reply, amen. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Cursed is anyone who has sexual intercourse with his sister. Fair, fair, <laughs> yep. fair. Whether she is the daughter of his father or his mother. Mm. And all the people will reply, amen. amen. Yeah, yeah. That I'm down with that one. Yeah. Cursed is anyone... There's a lot of sex rules here. Uh, I mean, that makes sense. Cursed is anyone who has sexual intercourse with his mother-in-law. <laughs> that... That... <laughs> Okay. And all the people will reply, amen. Okay. Oh, my God. Yeah. Man, these men. They were having sex with all kinds of people, barely. These men were fucking left, right, and upside down. Yeah. They needed to calm the fuck down. Yeah. (laughs) Cursed is anyone who attacks a neighbor in secret. Yeah. Yeah, attack them not in secret. Right. right? Yeah. (laughs) Then it's okay. And all the people. Hey, hey. I'm attacking my neighbor over here. Okay, good. Cool. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Go on. And all the people will reply, amen. Uh-huh. Okay. Cursed is anyone who accepts payment to kill an innocent person. Well, yeah. Hitmen suck. Hitmen suck. I need that on a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and all the people will reply. Amen. Yeah, they will. Okay. Last one. Ready? Mm-hmm. Cursed. Is anyone who does not affirm and obey the terms of these instructions? And all the people will reply. So, like, amen. Amen. 
Yeah, my Gosh, bad. Gosh, you just left me hanging. Well, no, there. I had a thing to say. So okay, they they basically said all the curses, and then they're like, and then if you don't listen to those curses, then you're still cursed. Curse again. Like you get a double curse. And a curse, curse here, <laughs> and a curse, curse there. It never gets old. It does. It though. does. I yeah. know. I'm sorry. So are they, there's no blessings. No, those, that's probably the next chapter. Oh, the next chapter. I don't know. Okay. I haven't looked ahead, so. So we just had curses in that one then. Curses. 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 Spoiled again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So tomorrow we will see what's happening in Deuteronomy 28, and hopefully we will be blessed. All righty. See you then. Hey, wife. Yes, husband. Did you know that we are now on Patreon? Um, yes, because you told me, but also, no, tell me more. <laughs> so we're on Patreon now. Are we? We are. And our supporters can go there and support us. And we have multiple levels all the way up to You Killed God. That sounds really drastic and escalated quickly-ish. Well, no, there's multiple levels before there. So it, es- it es- escalates on a sliding scale of, you know, cheap to, to not cheap. Oh. But, you know, we can definitely use any amount. So, like, any support is always appreciated. So, what exactly is Patreon? It's a place where you can show your support for our podcast. And Just our podcast? Any podcast or any <laughs> performer. But, you know, we're the ones that, you know, you're listening to right now. So, maybe you should, uh, you know, support us. That'd be awesome. That would be awesome. But we love you anyway. So, all you got to do is go to Patreon. Look up Sacrilegious Discourse. It's actually patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse is our actual main page there. So, head on over and send us some love. Yeah. Husband, it's the end. It is indeed, wife. Tell the people where they can contact us. Well, they can get a hold of us via our email, which is uh, sacrilegiousdiscourse at gmail.com. We have Twitter at sacrilegious underscore D. For D's nuts. Oh, why do you know? Why do you keep doing that? <laughs> Ugh. All right. We have a Facebook page, an Instagram page, and a Pinterest page. But if you really want to get our attention, Twitter's where is it, where it's at. Twitter is where you're at. Yeah. And um, they should also review, like, and subscribe, yeah? Definitely. Apple Podcasts um, reviews help us out tremendously. And uh, we also can use your support on Patreon, which is a great place to uh, support us as well. That would be at patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse. Don't forget to say thanks. Thanks. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye.